Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Hakodash. All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which is the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father name, the Son of the Most High, the Savior of Israel, and Israel alone. In the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ is Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone that taught us this truth and that rule well. And shalom to the whole four elect brothers and sisters that believe in his word and that fear in the heavenly father and his son. And I uh, wanted to do a quick response video um, to the video I watched here with the, from the elder Manata Zakba down there in South Carolina, where, uh, um, as you see the title, Latino and Native Americans celebrate I'm on the list Now what is that list meaning I'm on the sign Right I am a part of the nation of Israel My people are the children of God Right Now To kind of Respond to that And what he what he says unto them they, they celebrate being on the list They say yay I'm on the list Right But the elder responds and says okay you're on the list but um now you gotta do now you gotta do right you know and and uh, i'm gonna say too um hey you're on the list you're part of the nation of israel you're on the list but are you on the list what, what other list am i talking about are you a part of the elect are you a part of the Israel of the Most High? Because the talk, the scripture talk about the Israel of the Most High. Let's grab that real quick. Okay, we could we could grab it in the BLB. This is um. Galatians chapter 6 verse 16 It says And as many as walk according to this rule Peace be unto them And mercy upon the Israel of the Most High So hold on Let's see what it says before that man Because there, there's Israel the elect Nation out of all nations Right Israel mine elect But then there's an elect of the elect So yes you are a part of the nation of Israel And ultimately And I'll get that precept too Lord will Ultimately all Israel shall be saved with an everlasting salvation. But are you on that VI, that, that MVP, that VIP list to be saved from destruction? You know you're an Israelite now, so now you are going to be held responsible. All right? Israel is not just a, a, a name, right? There's a reputation. There's a uh, whole way of life. There's responsibility that comes with the name Israel or, or, or surnaming yourself uh, or calling yourself an Israelite right which is means what he is a prince of the power right and for women a uh, uh, princesses of the power right there's a there's, there's a responsibility that comes with that right so when you find out your identity you got to find out well if, if you are a prince or a princess of the power what should a prince or a princess of the power should be doing to please the power? What should they be doing? Right? This is, uh, let me go up here. Uh, verse 15. Okay, yeah, 15. It says, uh, For Yahweh HaMashiach, neither circum, for in Yahweh HaMashiach, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Okay. It says, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be unto them, and mercy upon the Israel of the Most High. Okay, right. And the Israel of the Most High, that's the elect. Peace and mercy unto them. Those are who are going to be saved in this time. Right now, let's get this. Everlasting salvation. 
right? Because the scriptures does say what in Matthew's the first chapter, I believe it's the 21st verse, call his name Yahawashai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Right? The word Yahawashai, you break it down, Yah means he, and Hawashai means deliver or save. Right? He shall save his people from their sins. And that's going to start with the elect. The elect are going to be saved from destruction. They're going to receive immortality. They're going to uh, uh, enter into the new covenant first. Right? With those new bodies that are unable to go off and unable to sin. And likewise, the rest of the nation, the two-thirds that's going to be destroyed here in America. All right? Those Israelites who are going to... Uh, uh, the rebels that are going to be purged out amongst um, the nation around the world, okay? They're going to come back as the children of the elect. Those who were saved and have received that immortality, that superhuman body, and, uh, uh, and that spirit to not be able to disobey the Most High. They're going to be born into it. And likewise, and, 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 and that's in order, right? They're going to be born into it. It's going to be the first fruits first, everybody in their order. And then the, 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 the uh, our people are going to come back born into righteousness, complete perfection, right? Not being able to go off, being born into that new covenant, right? The law is written within your inward parts. They're going to be born into that. Thus, they shall be what? Saved from their sins, they're no, they're no longer able to go off And they're no longer able to die Okay When sin entered into the world Death entered in also um, This is Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 17 It says but Israel shall be saved In the Lord with an everlasting salvation Ye shall not Be ashamed nor confounded world without end Right it's going to be an eternal kingdom Let me see here. All Israel shall be saved. Romans 11. It says, And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. We just read what it was written where it was written at. So Paul is quoting the Old Testament, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah that we just read. As it is written, there shall uh it's a lot here, it's a lot here. It says, and so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, and there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, right? And and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob, right? And that's Yahweh shot. Right? But still proving the point, all Israel shall be saved. You know, all Israel shall be saved from, you know, from their sins, man. Right? Now, um, here, uh, let me go down to 11 and 7. It says, What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest will blind it, right? The elect have obtained the truth. The truth is able to make you wise unto salvation, right? So it's all about the elect in this time. Yeah, yeah. Praise the Most High. You on the list. But are you on the list? Are you on that MVP list, right? Most important uh, uh, people, <laughs> we'll, we'll call it that. Most valuable people, right? The Lord values all Israel, but he got he got that upper echelon of, of, of individuals that he created to receive his mercy, right? You're on the list, but are you on the list? Do you got do you got a front row seats to to uh, to uh, see the destruction only with your eyes? Do you got front row seats to that, right? On the chariot to be covered with the feathers of gold and silver, right? Do do you got are you are you um are you on that list, right? Right now, there's no way to know for sure until you endure all the way until the end and then you'll see if you're on that list so that's something to strive for something to fight for something to suffer for that you may be saved from destruction right 
Yeah, you find out you're an Israelite. Now, now you are responsible for doing what what does the Israelite do? Right? He follows the commands of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? And this time to the best of our ability. So now you have to not only say, oh yeah, I'm an Israelite. You have to move like an Israelite. You got to think like an Israelite. Okay? You have to uh, uh, almost uh, have the appearance of an Israelite. Now, of course, we know using wisdom, we just walk out here in the public all willy-nilly with your fringes on, right? There's a time and a place for that because we're behind enemy lines. But your whole conduct should change, all right? Your whole conduct should change. So... Just wanted to do a quick video on that. Lord will, you were edified. And I'm going to say, call all y'all by Shim Yahweh Shabbat Shimon Kagwadash and Shalom.